Today we're going to show you how to make a space desert diorama. And if you want to win some free models, stay around till the end of the video. First step is we need to find some cork we want and then sand it down to the shape that's going to fit the base nicely. So let's get the cork or whatever material it is you've got. We'll go outside or inside and we're going to sand it down and uh, get it flush with the base. It's cold. It's uh, minus two in England and yeah, I'm feeling it. Just going to prime the, the cork. That's it. It's not hard. Just don't pick it up too early. That's about it. And no, you don't need a sanding machine. But it will make your life a lot easier. <laughs> if you don't have a sanding machine, just use some regular sandpaper and just, uh, just do it by hand. It's fine. Now that you've sanded down the bases, get some regular super glue. Um, or a glue gun works fine. And uh, just put it on the bottom of the base and start playing around with how you want it to look on your base. I'm using a 90mm oval size base, which I plan on using for a small diorama with uh, probably some space marines. So I'm trying to get this uh, composition of like a, like a Mars planet with these two rocks poking out and probably like a small battle happening in front of it. Maybe with some goblins or something just behind. I'm trying to leave some space, as you can see, behind the rock, so maybe like a small little goblin's hiding behind, or whatever, he's hiding for his life. All I'm using here is a sculpt mold, which I will link in the description if you want to buy some for yourself. It's really easy to use and you get some amazing texture. Applying some AK Sandy Desert now, just with a, a, a an old brush you don't care about. Just get it in all the cracks and it doesn't matter if it spills onto the rock a little bit, if anything it will be better because it could be like sand that's blown onto the rock and it's more natural. Scrape away all the old sculptor mould from the base to make sure it's nice and clean and just let this dry. Uh, this will probably take 20 minutes to dry max. After that just get some tissue, wipe off any excess paste on the rim and let it dry and you're good to start painting. I can already hear it. You need an airbrush to do this. No, you don't. But if you have one, it's going to make your life a lot easier. If not a big paintbrush, an old paintbrush, one you paint the walls with, uh, if that's what you do. Works fine, but if you have an airbrush, it's going to be a lot more beneficial, a lot more, a lot easier and quicker. The base is stuck down, the AK is set, so let's start getting this uh, paint just just pretty much everywhere. This this point, it doesn't matter where the paint goes. Let's just get some nice blue on all the surfaces. Not really in the cracks, but let's just get it pretty much everywhere. It doesn't really matter. Now I'm just making a bit of nice contrast with the purple. It's a light purple, and we're just doing the exact same thing as what we did with the blue. It's just going to get this nice contrast. That I want I want like a alien rock kind of feel of this diorama. I want it to be... I want the colours to pop, I want the whole diorama to stand out. I don't want you to like, if you were to see it, I want you to walk past it and it catch your eye. So these bright colours are going to do exactly that. Mixing a 2 to 1 ratio of purple to white, we're just adding this mixture to the top of every rock. I want it to stand out, I want the black to be still there in the shadowed areas. And just edge highlighting basically the tips of the rock just like you would on a space marine on, or on an edge of metal to really make it stand out. Just like we did with the 2 to 1 purple to white mix, we're going to be doing the same thing with blue green from Vallejo. Um, a little bit less, I kind of want it to blend a little bit more blue than I did purple after looking at it here. Um, I wanted the blue green colour because of it. I think it gives a nice, it's, it's like a turquoise with a hint of green. And I really, really like that. It saves me a step as well adding green. So this is 100% blue green 
and we're just doing the same thing, just kind of blending in the purples and the blues to make it almost look like the rock itself is glowing. You could turn this rock into like a glowing gemstone and it could cause OSL onto the floor, onto the models. There's a lot you could do with this. If you ever think you add too much paint, it's fine. We can always go back and go back over it with a purple or whatever colour scheme you've gone for. It's not a problem. I wanted the tops to kind of stand out a little bit, so I'm adding a little bit more than I thought I would initially, and that's fine. I, if I don't like it, I can easily go back. It's only paint. Use some cling film um, or paper or anything you have. Masking tape also works. Cover up your rock or whatever you want it to be. So when you're priming the base, when you're painting the base, you uh, don't ruin all the work you've just done. Now this next colour took me ages to get happy with, but it's two parts Wild Rider Red, one part Mephiston Red, and one part Troll Slayer Orange. I wanted it to have like a Mars kind of terrain, and this colour, in my opinion, really nailed it. Um, it didn't take me that long to play around finding the colour, but just keep playing around until you have a colour you're happy with. Now mixing three parts Wild Rider Red and one part White, we are just adding some more highlights to the top of what I'm trying to make look like rocks, uh, or the terrain of a Mars planet. And all we're doing is going around the entire base, heading bit by bit, and I don't care if I'm overspraying onto the rock. I want it almost to look like sand has blown onto the rock. So I might even in the future add sand or little bits of orange paint into the cracks of the rock to make it look like the planet has its own wind and it's blowing the sand everywhere. Finally, we're just gonna dry brush this uh, Rizu rust. And yes, I know it's rust, but it looks, it's fitting. And uh, same again, going onto the rock to make it look like this is sand or something that it's sunken into. So I thought I was done, but I was I thought it looked a bit too orange, so I'm going back in with three parts red, one part black, and ignoring the highlighted areas, but just going on the back part of the base and just adding a bit more depth of colour. Uh, so the orange really stands out. And then I think we are done with this diorama. And this is the end result. I am over the moon with the result. I didn't even expect it to be this nice. It looks, uh, I think it looks great. And I can't wait to convert this into a small diorama with figures on it. I think it's gonna be incredible. Like, I'm really excited to play around with this. Do you wanna see me make a series out of this base? Let me know in the comments, but I think I'm probably gonna do it anyway. But I think it looks good. I think it looks great. To be honest, I mean, it took me four hours to do this, start to finish. I didn't really wait for anything to dry either, I just kind of banged the sculpt mold on, put the paste on, and just, yeah. We started this YouTube channel three weeks ago, and you guys have killed it. I mean, we're at 130 subscribers now. It's been three weeks. It's mental. Crazy. The support is incredible. I just want to say thank you, and because of the amazing support, I'm going to be giving away out my own money, some chaos models, buy some models and paint them up and give them to you, or just buy the box and give you the box. I don't care. Either way, it'll be fun. Keep smashing the subscribe button, like, bell icon, share with your friends, let's get this going, let's see how well this video does. To win the chaos models, all you have to do is subscribe and like this video. If you want, share it with your friends, that helps me a lot. Um, trying to grow this channel um, but apart from that just like and subscribe that is it and then we'll pick the winners in one week from now um, or in my next video and then I can either send you a voucher or buy a random box of chaos models and post it to you but I hope you liked the video guys I hope you just liked the video and had some good time watching this and watching me about cut my fingers off which was great <laughs> so like, subscribe. Until the next video, thanks for watching.